Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, at the beginning of a new campaign in Old Rob Blue's Trouble in Paradise. So, as you can probably tell from the title and the beautiful thumbnail, we're playing as a certain nation, a certain boomer nation under Mother Pearl. So, like I do with all my other campaigns, beginning rules, major buffs, none for anybody. Actually, let's see, AI behavior, map setup, anything interesting that we should say, North Pole Enclave, let's leave it off. Uh, disabled, yep, no Harmony Unity, no Kaiser's Return, no, 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 no. Uh, default? Uh, let's leave it default. Cool. That is awesome, Civil War, whatever. Cool. So, let's just go ahead and get started. So, no historical AI focuses on. Now, this is going to be an interesting playthrough because this is the first campaign in which I am using two sub-mods for Old World Blues. First is, of course, the mod compilation by Shutterfly, and... The other submod is, I believe, Sweet Home California? I think it's Sweet Home California. Which is why there's no Legion, and why there's no NCR. We have the Shady Sands Republic, the Diablo Devils, the She are even larger. We have a completely shattered Legion, which is awesome, with a Phoenix Republic under Lucas Gregory, in which they have their own focus stream. Really cool. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Lucas Gregory. Hmm. Hmm. That seems kind of interesting, but regardless, we're playing as a boomer, so a flight, our flight from 22. Vault 22 is being overrun with plants. We must flee. And we start off with three boomer divisions. They like explosives, apparently, because they have two grenade divisions and pulverizers. Uh, we got some artillery or some demo support on, on our guys already, which is awesome. We're going to research the basic stuffs. Research speed. Uh, reinforce rate sounds pretty good. Industry planning and construction basics. Next up, pretty normal stuff for me. We'll get one of those. We are going to get wasteland ARs. We're going to get some grenade rifles, even though that looks like an artillery piece, not a grenade rifle. Whatever. We're going to need some more factories on that. In time, we're going to need some support equipment. And as a boomers, for the love of God, uh, we've got some planes. I'd be disappointed if we did not start with planes. Get that low, get that high. Boomer patrol. Ah, the boomers, you know. <clears throat> At some point in time, they might be getting old and not as strong as they used to be. And they might have injuries or even death from viruses and whatnot. But you know what? It's what happens when the boomers strike back. You, you'll you be surprised from this focus tree, especially when you go down this central path to get down to <clears throat> an American shield, the Enclave. So, it's true, the boomers strike back. And our goal is to take out the Sky Reavers by the end of this episode. So, flight from t Vault 22, which was our home, and it was overridden with mutated plants and people. So, we had to flee. As we fled from the vault, what did we take with us? Security equipment, anti tank weaponry, heavy machine guns, or maybe some infantry equipment. Now, that's nice. Fragmentation grenades, common weaponry, we could actually use that for our current guys. But the faster we can research this stuff, the better I'm, I'm thinking here. I think we're we're civilized, we're not advanced, which is fine, whatever. If we do anti-tank first, that frees up two technologies that we don't have to research later. And I might want to take out New Vegas soon-ish, maybe? This is nice and all, but let's go with some anti-tank stuff. Anti-tank weaponry. Love it. And we get four more divisions. Nice. Let's throw in a general. Uh, General Sterling Nelson, more supply consumption, more division speed, and he's a little agile. And these divisions are special because... I'm going to go throw a ninja when we can. These four divisions are special because they actually already have anti-tank on them, which is awesome. And then we shall do... Arrival at Nellis. With our flight from Vault 22, we must find a new home. A nearby Air Force base will suit us just fine. Ah, uh, yes it will. Yes it will. Let's let time go on for now. And have a good time. So we actually have, wow, tons of anti-tank, which will be great. Actually, let's make sure we throw one on there as well. Anti-tank, thank you. So, restoration efforts. The arrival of Nels was a relief for the dwellers of Vault 22. They had found a defendable, spacious environment with access to water and potential electricity. There was only so much spare parts and advanced technology that they brought with them, though, and they had to prioritize what they needed the most out of the husk of Nellis. Communication and simulations, we get more recon for... Oh, Plus 50% more recon, so we should get recon companies. Organization, less supply consumption, more air superiority, better supply grace, or more technology for resources, energy cell gain per energy, living quarters and warehouses, more stability in energy cell capacity and construction uh, techs, 
or we get agricultural techs and more monthly population. I'm going to go with communication and simulation, so I'm going to focus on getting some recon for our guys and then help their organization and less supply consumption because that could actually be really, really useful. Our fascinations. We have gotten used to our new home. It's time to put our people drives to work. Yes, and I do have a cup of boomer coffee here. Hmm, some of this old stuff. Ah, boomer coffee for all. Our fascinations in Nellis archives, the archives within the Nellis computer system, were heavily damaged. They were mostly corrupted and knew that if they tried to retrieve information from the computers for useful research and schematic production, they would lose any other relevant information, But they, so they had to choose which information was valuable at the time. Robotic engineering for robots, automotive engineering for vehicles, uh, bonus for air technology, or combat operation logs. Well, what we should know about this focus stream is the path that I'm going to choose. So we have the guns shall sing over here. And then you get to take three decisions. The boomer platoons, which sound like fun. Uh, defensive doctrine, because the boomers don't like to move. Or we utilize base security for robots. Should I use robots? Well, you might say yes if you don't if you didn't know that um when we breach the Nellis Armory, we get power armor. So I'm feeling I'm feeling very power armor hungry right now. And so robots probably aren't it. Vehicles that might be it, but I'm going to go with support technology, just because we're going to use that quite a bit. So the tipping point. Our leader, Mother Pearl, is growing in age. It's only a matter of time before she succumbs to death. Virus, perhaps. Her weakened immune system hopefully can hold out, but she might not make it. And she's passed away. And new candidates have stepped up to the plate to replace her. Which one shall lead the boomers to glory? Vanessa takes charge. More production efficiency cap and growth. Plus 15%. Construction speed for civilian factories, or the Guardian, which will get more division organization, population, div division recovery rate, army organization regain, division attack, and defense, which is awesome, Thrash steps into the plate, or steps to the plate. More division speed and construction speed for infrastructure, which is okay, you get some infrastructure, eh. And Ashla becomes our head, which is more research speed, planning speed, that's a lot, uh, 20%. Max planning, plus 5%. I'm going to go with the Guardian, because population, more attack, more defense, more recovery rate, that's just... I'm sorry, Mother Pearl, you've succumbed to whatever you had, but now we have Mr. America, the Guardian here. Look at that. Amazing. Cool. Next up, I, like I said, I want to go immediately to war as fast as possible. So, the Reavers will fall. The Sky Reavers have tested us once too many. We shall wipe them up and take their lands for our own. Because, and actually this is going to be a little tricky, or a little unpleasant, because once we take them out, we need to core their areas as fast as possible. We need to get secure Area 51, we get a core, as well as Area 6, which should be very, very, very important. Because right now, the longer we wait, the higher the chance they will make more divisions right now. And they currently have about a thousand manpower, they have way more than us. They have three to nine divisions, which is not really ideal. It looks like they have at least two divisions, but we should be okay if we can encircle some guys here. So, Boomer Can Openers, I need you right there. Because we're going to make some encirclements around Desert Pass, or even right here as well. Uh, Hopeville had some issues, that's okay. Oh, there's Prim. Ooh, there's a little bit of lag. Alright, whatever. Prim, they live by Constable Myers. And this is the generic focus tree, I think, for... Um, all the nations in Sweet Home... California. We still have, of course, the special focus trees from the mod compilation, like New Victoria, which I will play as. I haven't forgot about them. Under Mama Victoria, Queen Victoria, or Queen mm, Diplomatic Summit. Very cool. And it's actually really cool. With the Legion gone, there's a lot of cool nations in here. Cult of Lupa, which doesn't have a focus tree. Uh, you know, a unique focus tree, whatever. Uh, let's get work as needed first. We're going to grab some of this. We're going to grab some more construction stuff. And we are going to grab... I would love Recon, but that's a little bit ahead of time. Land Doctrine. What am I going to choose? We want Power Armor, but I don't have to go refine Warfare. It's not that great. Uh, I'm probably going to go with Conventional Warfare for now. If I change my Land Doctrine, so be it. So, let's talk about Mexico with the Sweet Home California mod. Uh, Mexico and Sinaloa Cartel are actually really, really large. And it says, don't play this nation. Hmm. Advanced Energy Cell. And they still have normal Santa Ana stuff, but... Uh, yeah. Don't play as this nation. I don't think it'll work for us. So, probably not. Sinaloa Cartel. Looking pretty big and mighty. They also have Don't Play This Nation. So, you can't build anything. You literally can't build anything with them. You get no population growth. So, neutrality. And it helps keep Mexico tight. I guess we'll say. Prepare the base. Let's get some more factories. We must repair Nellis in order to allow our people to feel safer and to provide more work. Arms workshops and a civilian workshop. Great. 
And we will immediately go to warp and have a good time. Actually, what do we want to do here? Ruthless Drills, Clearing Vault 22. Huh. Uh, let's disable, disable that. What do we need right now? Will there be anything I can add to us that'll make us a wee bit stronger? Ooh, we can get some more... Ooh, that's actually not too bad right now. Get some of that. Uh, do we have any one for economic advisors? Resource efficiency gain. Um, this stuff looks okay. Cultural advisors. Political power gain. Ooh, we get more stability, but we already have stability. And political power gain plus 10% sounds really nice. We can only get 1.31, which is pretty good. I've been told several times in the past that it's not really worth getting. So I'm going to wait a little bit and get some more daily army XP gain. Let's go to war, see how many divisions they have. Thank you. Let's see. Good. Now, immediately move you up here. Move you up here so we can encircle them and destroy those divisions, because that's probably the most important thing we can do right now. And how many divisions do they have? Do we know? Four to eight. Now, do not let them move. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going, son? Where are you going? Look at that. Now, oh, that's beautiful. Now, where are you going, son? And we have encircled them. Yes, pretty good. Pretty good. And they're just kind of playing patty cake right there. Oh, we're about to get encircled right there. And you hold, and you stop the attack. If anything, good. They died. You move here. This is all fun and games. All fun and games. Let's see. Let you guys move around and they take some territory. The main goal is just to encircle and destroy their divisions. That's all that really matters. And they are bye-bye. They are bye-bye. They are gone. Oh, uh, you might want to come up that way. Cut those guys off. I'm leaving these guys to do that. You. Well, you can come down there. Cut that division off. You're going to come that way and hold them off. And destroy those guys. Next up, you guys can come right there. If they want to do that, that's okay with me. That's okay. We'll just take the long route. The very long route. And another d one division will die. Oh, actually, just come that way. I could take Area 51, but that's not enough supply points. That's not enough points right there. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, you know what? Yeah, just come right here. They have elected to die, and so they shall. And it gives us some good army XP. We lost 23 guys versus 700. I would say that's not too bad so far. Next up, come there, come there, and take Area 51. I love Area 51. You just kind of hold. You guys beat them up. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Two divisions, and they're dead. Time for another division, I suppose. Very good. And plop. Very cool. We could probably get another general, too. Or a field marshal. Uh, a bruiser, I like the attack, and less supply consumption, I like that. Michael Pope. Ah, uh, Mr. Pope is here to help us out. Very good. Help kill that division off, we don't need to see their faces anymore. Uh, you might as well come that way, that'd be good, you guys come up there. Cut them off, have a good time with them, you know, the normal stuff. Troll worn, very cool. Uh, let you guys move on up as well. Take the long route, take the scenic route. And time for Area 56. Can we destroy that guy? Probably. Casualties over a thousand for the Sky Reavers. Oh look, there's still divisions. And they died. They're gone. Thank you. Come again. Alright. So, now this is going to be a problem. We're going to repair the base. Uh, this is going to be a definite problem though right now. Because we don't have a lot of manpower, and we don't have a lot of equipment for garrisoning stuff. So, let's see. Caravan Guards... Wasteland Eradication. Um, I usually do Wasteland Pacification. But we won't be able to do that because we don't have enough manpower. So I'm going to go with, perhaps, Spread Cal Post for now. It saves on manpower a little bit. It saves on guns for a little bit. And we have to wait until we repair the base so we can get some manpower as well. That actually took less than 60 days for us to kill them off. Can I go to war with Jacob's Town next, maybe, perhaps? That'd be a lot of fun. So, we're going to get a, quite a bit of resistance here, at least a little bit for a while. How much will we get? Oh, quite a bit. Holy cow. Tool procurement. Sure, why not? Why not? But I'm glad we took them out. We get a little bit more factories so we can play with, and I love it. So, we're getting some support equipment. That'd be gr great. Glorious. Ah, uh, repair the base. Good. Now, we're going to immediately core as much as we can. So, exploiting the outskirts. With the Reaver's gone, 
We shall use their survivors to harvest the land and resources for us. I think that's a great idea. A fabulous idea. Ruthless Rails clearing out Vault 22. Well, Vault 22 is, uh, right. Ooh. Oh. Vault? Well, it is Vault. It's Ruby Valley. So, Vault Ruby Valley. So, it is what it is. Can I click on that? Thank you. Yeah. Yep. So, the lost contact with the survey team is now the least of our problems. A plant-based infection was sealed within Vault 22 and it's infected them. We could either set up a quarantine area and try to research the effects of infection, or we could clear the... something. Population. So, we already have a core on Vault 22. Why would we want that and just lose manpower? We're gonna get... we're gonna research the infection. And get a little bit more monthly population. So now we get a total of four guys, or four females, or four somethings a month. Nice, that's looking pretty good. We got plenty of guns. I love it. We just don't have enough manpower to do wasteland pacification. It is oh, regrettable, I know. Mm, oh, actually. Boomer can openers. Uh, oh, wait, Boomer can. Boomer patrols. I thought you guys had anti tank on you guys. Hold on. Can openers. Yeah, they got some anti tank. It's kind of glitched, maybe. I don't know. Very odd, very, very odd, but whatever. Can I manually justify on you guys? How many did... Wow, you got a big old face, Marcus. Uh, oh, we might be able to do well here if we really wanted to. Eh, we might as well try. I'm sure I get an Annex War goal against them later, but... Since we're here now, we might as well try to have a good time with them. A very good time. Explore the outposts, 24 days. We get way more resources, which is great, great, great. And, frankly, if you follow my other campaigns, you know I never do sporadic outposts in uh, Old World Blues. I always do Wasteland, Pacification. I could do Eradication, but that costs so much manpower that we don't have. Look at that. We're no longer mobilizing anymore. You know what? Don't even make this division. I don't need it right now. Save on that manpower. Oh, Diablo Devils. Declare one Diablo Devils. There's two different types of de Devils. Huh. Oh. Where are they? Huh. Woodworking. Good. Work is needed. Uh, we'll grab some organized agriculture. Conventional warfare is coming along. Let's grab... Ooh, crowd gear. That'd be good. Division training time for now. That always comes in handy. Exploring the outskirts. Good. We're going to go securing Area 51. Area 51 has potential to be a new home, and we must send people to set up a base there. Absolutely. And for... Oh, oh I know the boomers don't really like outsiders. Compliance gain could be so good for me right now. I could use so much more compliance. I only get point two. <sighs> this hurts me. Hmm, resources. Oh, we distrust people. Uh, let's go with that. Even though, oh, the followers of the apocalypse. This happens every game. Oh, they do whatever they want. Sounds like the followers of the apocalypse. Good. As soon as we can secure Area Fifty One, we can probably raise our level of compliance or, you know, territory management systems. That would be good. Because it doesn't make that much sense for us to allow outsider volunteers, outsider battalions. Actually, right now, it doesn't make any sense for outsider volunteers too much, really. No outsiders is really what we should get like, get going for, but I'm going to leave it on for now just because it's still early game. Whatever. I'll switch it out later on. That'll be good. And Jacob's down. Marcus. I want you to go boom, Marcus. You only three divisions. Our guys are muy bueno, as some might say. I would like to upgrade my divisions. You know, throw on anti-tank. Make sure that they actually have anti-tank. Actually... Uh, hmm. I don't even get the... Oh, I get the option for them, but... Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. And this is what I was talking about earlier. It's kind of... A little hectic, we'll say. Trying to... Make sure you can garrison the area. Without resistance going up too high. Iron Alliance. Brotherhood of Steel. Actually... Oh, see, there you go. We're out of manpower. That hurts me. That hurts me. So, Brotherhood is very small now. Very, very small. Troll Warren, very cool. What is their focus is tree like? They have a different focus tree than normal, and we just secured Area 51. Did we Naruto, Naruto run into there? Maybe, maybe not. Securing Area 6 now. Area 6 has, has potential to be a new home. We must send people to set up a base there. Yes. Ah, oh, I love the boomers. Beautiful. Hmm. Now, we're the boomers. We like planes, especially B-29 super fortresses. So let's do that. Imp improvised tools. Improved tools. Improved tools. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, I could use dogs. I mean, just it's it's always. Oh, look at that manpower. Now I feel good about doing this. Put them down. Put them down. Put them down until they all die. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. Oh, we're out of manpower. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. We can't put them all down. Uh, how about extensive patrols? We can save on manpower that way. For the love of God, I hope we can. Can we? No. You know what? We're gonna do it one at a time. Pacification. Let's uh switch it back. There you go. We're gonna get Middle Valley down first. Uh, area six is fine with that. You're gonna get a lot more compliance more quickly down here. Uh, uh, I don't want to lose scrap. Just do that. I can lose ten manpower. That's fine. And they establish themselves so they don't lower my my um, manpower too much. Get multi population. That's fine. I want to save up a little bit more p political power just so that we can core stuff as fast as possible because we don't have the manpower for it. Now I could raise my conscription level, which I will probably do actually, just so we have enough manpower. But that, it helps once we, once we core area six as well. So look at that, twenty percent, nice. Area six, yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. If anything, a sporadic outpost, we'd probably do this as well. Maybe? Oh my gosh, I took almost, roughly five hundred more manpower just for desert pass. Woo! We definitely need doggos. Definitely, 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 definitely need those doggos. Good resistance is only twenty-eight percent. 39%? That's going down just slightly, 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 slightly. Which is muy bueno, and soon, in less than two weeks, we'll have that. How much further do we have to wait, or how much longer do we have to wait? We have to wait about 70, 60 ish more days. Western Apache was annexed by. Well, that's a big black foot. Oh, Canyon Runner, you look very reminiscent of the Legion. Actually, the Fist, that's a threat part. Are you. Are you the Legion? Cool, we're done with that, great. Now we can do catching. Oh, cracking open the blast doors. But I want to get down here as fast as possible. So, Nellis Workshop Base. Ooh. Let's do that. So, we must refurbish the weapons workshops with the Nellis to produce more weapons, arms, and armor for our people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, Blackfoot, what are you guys about? Oh, God, they are. Oh, my goodness. This looks like so much fun reforming the Legion. Bull regain strength. I have to play as these people sometime. Oh, my goodness. Uh, crowd gear. That sounds like fun, but I don't have the industry for it just yet. Uh, chem companies, of course, are mandatory for me. Resource efficiency gain. Uh, gets more output. I love the output and a slightly more recruitable population. We're doing very, very well in supplies. Very, very well. Uh, I want doggos, though. I want some doggies. We're going to need some scrap metal. Let's immediately raise my conscription level as well. That'd be nice. That'd be good. That'd be super good. And once this gets up to 100%, then uh, I'll start coring stuff. And actually lower this probably to sporadic outposts. That'd be good. Ah, seed selection. I love seed selection. I'm joined here with my boomer cat, Binky. Right, boomer Binky? That's right, sit on that chair. Ah, uh, very good, very good. And a few more days. Uh, we're, I'm still not making any, any divisions. We'll be fine, especially once we get power armor. Or at least maybe one unit of power armor. Get T-51B, Composite Power Armor. Simple servos is unlocked. And a lot. Now, we could go with Cutting Trade Ties, which means we just become isolationist. So, basically, pre-World War I America. A deal with Vegas, so we, you know, kind of ally with Vegas. Have a good time with them, you know. Make a lot of money. The Mojave is flourishing. Or we crack down the blast doors, which will be a lot of fun. Oh, and we get gunships, too. So, that'll be great times. Nice. We get some doggos. We get some saws. Oh, we already have flight. Well, that makes sense. We have flight unlocked already. That makes a lot of sense for us. Uh, get some construction stuff. I should do more uh, electronics too. But I need doggos. I really, really could use some doggos. Uh, do that for now. That'll help the scrap metal just a wee bit. Let's get a stockpile of dogs. Happy 2276, my friends. Let's get a stockpile of dogs first before we throw them on to help garrison the areas. Good, good, good. Come on. The wasteland has never looked more divided, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, we can go to war. That's always fun. And actually, we're going to get more stuff. I'm going to throw one more on here, just in case. We should be able to take these guys out pretty okay-like. That should be okay. And the longer we wait, the more the stronger they become. So let's go ahead and have a good time. Uh, I'll let you guys just kind of go on ahead whenever you feel like. Do we have any planes? Air bases. Yes. Yes. We have three. 
get up to uh, get up to 100 eventually. There you go. Oops. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. And they're gone. Thank you. Thank you for the vault. And weapons from the cons. The cons wish to produce weaponry, and so they shall in the condition we take most of them. That doesn't give me any more manpower, so be it. And can I have your body, please? Thank you, Marcus. Thank you very much. Now, why did I take that? And without, you know, being able to court? That's because I can court. Thor Vault 19. So, Vault 19 was the site of an experiment in social separation, separating the Vault Dwellers into two separate groups. The experiment failed, however, due to a huge sulfur deposit that contaminated their air supply. Sulfur deposits for explosives, more scrap, and explosive tech 4? Holy cow. Tech 4, so that's 1, 2, 3. Wait, hold on. Is that 4? 1, 2, three. Oh my goodness. Uh, but I'd rather get the core. We lose a little bit of manpower. We get no resistance and lose a little bit of, a little bit of construction speed. That's okay with me. And that's okay. And we got Vault 19 security. I don't know why you're over there, but whatever. Just become a boomer. We all are becoming boomer patrols. And the Western Brotherhood is having a time with them. Good. Good, good, good. And just in case, security teams, we don't need you. Throw on some anti-tank for now. And then I'm going to throw on some other stuff. I'm going to make, get some dogs to the militia group. Militia force. Planes, obviously we need more. Oh, Fort Summers versus Old Vegas Tribe. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Fort Summers has a unique focus tree as well. Uh, Old Vegas does not, but Fort Summers does. And it's a very big... Yeah, it's a pretty big tree. Looks very, very much fun. The election aftermath? Oh, someday I will play as them. There's so many nations in Old World Blues. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Two nations down, a few more to go. We have resistance growing in some areas here. Nice. 50% is always great to see. Can I increase this to pacification? Yes. Crack down on them. We might lose... We're, we're going to lose a lot of guys. But that's okay. That's okay. For where we're going, that's okay. Doggos. How many dogs do I have? 23, 24. That's not enough. How many militia divisions am I using to keep people down? Or to not keep people down, but give them no freedom. We have 27 in storage. You need 15 per division, which is quite a bit. We got battle plans for max planning. We have field fortifications as well. Very bueno. Uh, do we need water eventually? We might. Like I said, I do want to save some political power up to core stuff. That would be good. Or I could just say screw it and just get more political power. I might just save that instead. Plus 10% is better than 0.10 right now. Yeah, that's 10% versus just 0.10. And we get... Uh, same monthly ideology, monthly opinion, blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We get, we basically got 0 0.2 more political power a day, which I'm going to use for the rest of the campaign. So I think that's, that's, that's worth it. And so we got an event coming up soon. No, just that. Weapons from the cons. Great. We're going to grab Breaching the Nellis Armory. Nellis has an armory that we have yet to breach. Now is the time, though, to break in. How many dogs are we making a day? Well, we're making almost one a day. Six a week. That's not bad. Baron's Republic declared war on Woods Lake, which is a former NCR. We're making a healthy amount of bombers. Of course, I'd like more, but, you know, with local workspaces, we'll do very, very well. Plant cultivation. I know I need to do more engineering. I said it earlier. I forgot about it, but not really. Oh, Blackfoot. My goodness. That looks like fun. Actually, does Flagstaff have its... Who are you? Oh, Skinner. Gifts of our forefathers. No, this is a generic focus tree for Old World Blues. Eh, whatever. Masters. Oh, Masters Remnants. Oh my goodness, Kappa Crusher. Uh, it's, eh, it's kind of a generic focus tree. Eh. Ten signs. This is still beta, let you know. This mod, uh, Sweet Home California, is still in beta, so. Uh, let's grab that. More research speed. Thank you. Thank you. A thousand manpower. Ah, uh, that thousand manpower is going to go away very, very soon, actually. Can I take out new. New Vegas? How many divisions? Mmm, I am so tempted to take them out early on. Incredibly tempted. With anti-tank, with enough piercing, we should do okay? Especially if we have power armor? I'm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we have to. I'm thinking it's a good idea. Oh, and this, uh, we don't have enough dogs to put dogs on militia forces yet. Can... Oh, also, boomer patrols. Throw on some chems for now. That'll be important. I want everyone to become a boomer. 
We're going to need some more support equipment, which is fine. Just totally fine. Uh, and if you need to, train the Pain and Man to Clear War and then SSR. I don't know what the SSR is. Oh, wait, hold on. SSR. Uh, I forget. Uh, where are they? It doesn't matter. More research. Thank you. Let's grab some reinforced rates and we'll get some decryption, encryption, all that sort of good stuff soon enough. SSR. I remembered I saw it earlier. I don't know where it was. Oh! Oh! So, duh! Shady Sand Republic. Duh! What am I thinking? I'm thinking like SSR, like USSR or Lithuanian SSR. I know Lithuania it usually is in, in America, but whatever. I need to play as these guys too someday. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Look at this focus tree. Look at that. Would you just look at that? Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I want to finish up one more focus before we end the episode two. I want that power armor before we're done. Still building stuff up. How is resistance in some areas? At this point, pacify them. We're going to need more divisions, and that's an okay. That's an okay thing. We need 14 divisions in total to put them down, which is good. Oh, look at that. That resistance in Meadow Valley looking pretty sweet. Where is Meadow Valley? Oh, it's over here. That's cool. I never really take a, you know, take a stop to look at where my resistance is. All I see is red and blue. I'm like, yes, yes, no, no. Hmm. 61% on average. Yeah, with Coyote Springs not doing great. That's okay. Can only get 1.41 still. Manpower looking pretty okay. Vaults. And once we get New Vegas, that's a... Uh, which one is... Which vault is that? I forget which vault it is. New Canaan, Twin Mothers. Oh, there it is. Vault 21. And we get a court. You know, for you know a little bit of manpower, we get a court. No resistance. I think that's great. You got 20 out of 25 unlocked slots. Uh, who could ask for more? Really? Who could ask for more? We're in such a good position. The boomers have the potential to be incredibly great. And let's grab some of that. Some decryption stuff. And breaching the Nellis Armory. Great. And, oh, nice. Good stuff. Oh, my goodness. Oh, don't tease me with a good time. And let's see. More arms workshops, civilian workshops. That looks pretty good. Whoa. Consumer goods factors minus 10% for unrelenting work ethic. Infrastructure. This is so good stuff. Uh, for fun Zizos, we're going to start with cracking open the blast doors. Wait a minute. What the? But we're going to have to wait to see what. Oh my god. We already get three divisions? <gasps> oh my goodness. But, anyways, we got to wait until tomorrow to see what happens when you crack open those blast doors. And you know what? I hope you enjoyed today's episode, my friends. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we open those blast doors and ravage New Vegas for what it is. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.